The time now, it's 11 o'clock on this Wednesday night, July 16th, 2014 on a Wednesday night. Time now, follow what a magician PJ Wiggins, the late night report. Wednesday night, July 16th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Our congregation is 11 o'clock in North Massachusetts. 71 degrees on temperature overcast, guys. Creep the D, 94%. Wind speed is calm. Barometer, 29.84 inches. Duper about 69 degrees. Visibility, 7 miles. All right, let's take a look at that radar scope and it shows. Zooming it out and it shows. It's a line of rain showers up in the northeastern eastern Maine, stretching into Brunswick, down to the central western portion of New Brunswick, and then switching all the way down to the Atlantic Seaboard. And spotty rain showers around the Tampa Bay area, around the southern Florida area, around the Miami area, and the Bahamas, and stretching out western Cuba here. And some spotty rain showers in west central portions of Prince Edward on the west central portion of Quebec and in northeastern Ontario. And some spotty showers and storms from western Arkansas down for Oklahoma and western Texas and stretching in the north. Fort Worth region all the way down for western Nevada and up in the northern California and north central Mexico here. And spotty rain showers in west central Alberta, northwest West Central, Saskatchewan, Northwestern, Alberta, Northeastern, British Columbia, and Central portions of British Columbia here. Spotty Rain out in the Northeast Michigan, Northeastern, Ontario, down for West Central Quebec here. And some Spotty Rain Charles in the Lake Erie area and Southeastern Ohio. And Western New York around the Buffalo area and Central New York around the Syracuse area here. And some spotty shots of storms on South Central South Carolina here. Yeah. Potential victims to come for Oh shoot. We have was arrested this morning, but he was released. He is due in court in September. Port St. Joe, Florida. Good morning. Good evening. 70 degrees with clear skies here. And we're gonna take a look at the temper radar here and it shows. Some spotty showers and a few storms in the northern suburbs of Tampa, Florida, around Palm Harbor, Holiday, Bayonet Point, Point, and Zephyrus, and on for Brooksville and stretching it out to the Gulf of the Tampa area. And the Miami area shows a couple of bitches of rain showers around the Miami area and stretching down the Kendall, down for Cutler Ridge, down for Homestead, and stretching it down for the Everglades, and stretching not with the keys here. Alright, let's take a look at our satellite loop here and it shows. Sunrise tomorrow. See that? So maybe about seven o'clock. The land of clouds cover from land Canada stretching on land seaboard and stretching it down to the Caribbean. Another batch of clouds from Mexico stretching it all the way down to north. With a the trend moving from northwest to southeast. The much of the is still kind of muggy in Boston. Arizona, Texas, and Louisiana, but Mississippi and stretching it off to Missouri. Stretching the central plains and central Rockies and then stretching down for Arizona down for seven. Utah down to Nevada down to Northern California here. And batch of class from Ontario and batch of class from West British coming down for Western Alberta and a batch of class from Saskatchewan and up in Manitoba here. Alright, let's take a look at our map situation here. Station front from Montana all the way down to Rockies and down for Texas and merging with front from the Gulf States, stretching up the Atlantic seaboard and then up into Quebec here and one front from Quebec up into Newfoundland and a, and a pink front up and around the northern Quebec and we got low pressure in Quebec, eastern Washington and a band of low pressure around. The greater southwest causing all sorts of rainy conditions around the greater southwest here. Here we got high pressure in central Kansas, eastern Missouri, and western Wisconsin here. And western Mexico, we got front of battery from down to the bars of Mexico here. 74 degrees on temperature in Boston, 72 in Burlington, Vermont, 69 out in Caribou, Maine, 65 in Syracuse, New York, 63 in Buffalo, New York, 76 out in Washington, D.C. and Atlanta, Georgia, 81 in Miami, 82 in Austin, Texas, 86 in Dallas, Texas, 84 out in Brownsville, Texas, 79 in New Orleans, 74 in Little Rock, 70 in Kansas City, 670 in Chicago, 73 in Minneapolis, it's 68 out in Pittsburgh, North Dakota, 83 in Great Falls, Montana, 87 in Seattle, 88 in Portland, 71 out in Dark clothing. San Francisco, 81 in Sacramento, 72 in Los Angeles, 87 in Salt Lake City, 78 out in Albuquerque, and do you want to see a contrast of temperatures? Hot in Phoenix, 103 degrees in Phoenix, but when you get to Denver, cooler temperatures, 59, oh my, that's a four corner region here, 59 in Denver, 103 in Phoenix, that's a temperature in contrast of 44 degrees here. 
as we take a look at our forecast discussion around the country. Stormy weather for the central plains in the deep south and very pleasant weather for the northern and eastern United States and scattered showers and storms over the northern Rockies here. An active weather pattern is the forecast to develop over the central plains and in the deep south by the end of the work week and a plume of moisture over the run and a colder boundary. Layer air mass and conjunction with upper level. Short wave energy will create a favorable environment for a moderate heavy rainfall. Some of this rainfall may be heavy enough to cause flooding problems and some strong flooding storms may be likely to develop. Over parts of Texas and Oklahoma and the pristine air mass that has settled southward from Canada has now reached the east coast. In the stormy weather that has hammered the region over the Tuesday has now moved offshore. Very pleasant conditions of for this time um, this year, the play expected to continue for the Friday and before warmer and more humid conditions return in time for the weekend. Watch bandos in the 50s can be expected from the Midwest and the Midland states, especially away from the major cities and highs in the 70s and 80s will be commonplace. Out west, the hot weather over the past seven hours and expected to be eight by the end of the week as the cold front brings in cooler from the Pacific Ocean and scattered showers and storms will continue to be possible each afternoon across the Rocky Mountains with a monsoon moisture in the place across the region here. Forecast discussion in New England here, a cold front will slowly move offshore late tonight into Thursday, followed by high pressure Friday and Friday the weekend. The high pressure may persist in the middle of the next week, bringing mainly the dry weather. New term until 6 a.m. Thursday morning, 10.25 p.m. update. First round of shots tonight to the movies in the Massachusetts coastal waters this evening. Another round of shots as I was pushing in the Cape and Islands from the southwest. These shots will continue to shift eastward very slowly tonight as cold front slowly moves eastward. Made some minor tweaks to the new term conditions to bring them back to the line with observed trends. Tonight, cold front moves slowly east from the end to the five quarter, but will likely hang up across the Cape Islands and middle level tough. Still back across Great Lakes with a southwestern flow aloft. In fact, models continue to wave at a development along this front, which will likely keep its shots going across the Cape and especially in Nantucket well into the night as plume stalls just off the coast. And we will carry likely the category pops of the Cape and Islands tonight. A few shots could linger into the early evening back across the southeast Massachusetts otherwise dry weather with crystal clear moving in west and east across southern New England. With no dew points moving in the west and clearing skies, and light winds will likely see temperatures drop in the 50s across central western Massachusetts and southwestern Hampshire. But this dry air will be slow to reach eastern New England, so temperatures will be in the low to mid 60s. Here. Alright, let's take a look what's going on in the topics. Here. Nothing brewing in the Atlantic and the Eastern Pacific tropical zones. And meanwhile, we are going to take a look at Ramazan here. Alright, the latest in Ramadan here. Category 1 storm, wind speed 90 miles per hour, gusts of 150 miles per hour, latitude 15.10, longitude 119.10, and it's going to make landfall in Hanan as a Category 3 typhoon. At 2 a.m. on Friday morning, and we're going to make another landfall in northeastern Vietnam on Friday afternoon. Here, Russia's most important banks and energy companies. Some European countries are also stepping up. So Hi. President Vladimir Putin remains defiant, saying the U.S. is only hurting itself with the sanctions. The man found intruding inside a home at the Kennedy compound in Hyannisport is undergoing mental health evaluations tonight. This video of 53-year-old James LaFoy as he was being led out of the home in handcuffs last night. Today's map. Tomorrow's highs, we'll see 79 for Boston, 83 for Hartford, 83 for New York, 81 for Worcester, 81 for Concord, New Hampshire, 78 for Fulton, Maine, 81 for Rutland, Vermont, and 80 for Albany, New York. Here. The fate of one of the friends of the marathon bombing suspect is now in the hands of the jury. Deliberations resume first thing in the morning. Deliberations began this afternoon after closing arguments in the trial of Azamat Zayakov. He is charged with a And taking a look at a future cast. Prosecutors saying that Zayakov removed key evidence from the suspect, Joe Harzarnay. In the Cape Nans could see a additional back to work in the light tomorrow bands of rain here over the Cape Nans by the morning hours here of tomorrow morning here. So over that in New Orleans and tomorrow, those of you in Cape Nans will get a couple of additional raindrops here. And around the afternoon hours, we may see additional body showers here. But nothing too serious, not as severe as what we had Monday through Wednesday, just 
Your typical meal and spill the showers here. And take a look at the weather notes here. Okay. North face water is 53 from Maine to 72 in Connecticut. Pre dawn high tide, seas 4 to 7 feet, small craft advisory, and moderate risk of rip currents in Massachusetts and North. Hampshire coastlines here. And two points of lows will drop overnight, and a few showers out of the Cape in the morning, and a spotty rain showers. A hit or miss showers somewhere around the region here. So tomorrow, 73, 83, and Friday, 77, 82, according to NECN. And those of you going to the beach, for the south coast, water 67 to 70, air 76 79, UV high, so bring the sunscreen. For eastern Massachusetts and New Hampshire beaches, water will be 64 to 69, and average about 71 to 74, and UV to moderate to 4 to 7 in feet seas on the New Hampshire and Massachusetts coastline and south coastline. And main coast will be water 62 to 66, and air 76 79, 1 to 3 feet, and water is in UV as high. Alright, okay, let's take a look at our view from the outside here. <gasps> Ooh, some dew. And it shows a little humid on tap, but when you get up in the morning, you are going to feel a much different air mass tomorrow morning here. All right. Let's take a look at a seven-day forecast that goes like this. While you're sleeping in the overnight hours tonight, you are going to see for tonight. Most of the cars got low in 62 degrees, calm wind. For Thursday, most of the sun's got under 83 degrees, north wind about 3 to 5 miles per hour. Further than that, most of the cars got low in 59 degrees, and southwest wind about 5 miles per hour, light and variable after midnight. For Friday, the sun's got under 81 degrees, and west wind about 3 to 5 miles per hour. Further than that, park cars got low in 62 degrees, and light south wind. Saturday, most of the sun's got under 82 degrees, Saturday night, park cars got low in 61 degrees. For Sunday, most of the sun's got under 82 degrees. Sunday night, park house got alone 61 degrees. Monday, park house got under 81 degrees. Monday night, park house got alone 63 degrees. And Tuesday, most of the sun's got under 83 degrees. Tuesday night, park house got alone 66 degrees. For Wednesday, most of the sun's got under 84 degrees. Haters, what a phrase of the night! A beautiful, terrific stretch of weather and tap. After three days of rain, we get a big payoff. All right, the Peter Channel News Time, 11-12. Time now for the travel report, and it shows 495 southbound, a slow around the Littleton stretch from 110 to Route 2 on the southbound side. Due to a little road work here, and 93, and an incident on 93 North on 125 North End over here. So try to stop some extra time in addition to some construction on 93 North around the Wilmington Stretch and Mass Pike. On the on the westbound side, a little slow from Logan Airport as you approach the Ted Williams Center of and Boston on ramp closed on Mass Pike westbound and Chain 22 and Copper Square reported by DOT due to some road construction on the Mass Pike and Austin rent restrictions on Mass Pike eastbound and Interchange 20 as Austin rent and tolls reported by DOT and 93 South a little slow. Around the Somerville stretch to do some road construction, two lanes close on 93 southbound between exit 29 and Summer Square and exit 26 clever connector southbound about by DOT. But otherwise, on 95 southbound. Room to room. Plus, watch live TV on the go with the Fios mobile app, redefining what TV can be. 95 southbound, a little slow around the Foxborough stretch from. Exit 8 in Mechanics Street and Sharon. Due to a little road work on 95 southbound here. But a wise on smooth sailing commute and tap. And this is PJ with you, but here at Channel News Time 11 14. And let's take a look at our news headlines here at 11 14. President Obama. 
Impose some new round of sanctions against Russia on Wednesday, targeting some of the grand jewels of the country's financial energy and defense industry, what officials described as the most punishing measures. And also, President Obama imposed the biggest package of U.S. economic sanctions yet on Russia on Wednesday. Hidden Russia's largest oil producer, Rosnet, and other energy financial and defense firms that we called the similar but targeted penalties. There. Very popular cholesterol drug. It could hurt you more than it helps. A lot of Americans take something called niacin. Israel Shellen killed four Palestinian boys in Gaza Beach on Wednesday. And it's in the military called Tragic. And his real Hamas said they would like to seize the text for five hours of thirst with humanitarian truths. What's driving Rupert Murdoch in his question by Time Warner in the rapid conversation for paid television distributors analysts say? When he heard rumors that Drake and Chris Brown would share some stream time and SBs on Wednesday night, July 16, we didn't know what expected. Dr. Thomas Frieden, director of the Service of Disease Control Prevention on Wednesday, credited. And a kicking home video made by overwhelmed parents, Jay, Jason Siegel, and any camera day has gets uploaded instead of deleted and. The movie. Oh, let's skip it. Let's skip that. He's telling his escape story to this identify as Julie Lachek. She's live in North Andover right now, Julie. In world news, in Damascus, Bashar al-Assad was sworn for a new term as Syria's president on Wednesday after an election in which his opponents dismissed as a sham, but which he said proved he had achieved victory after a dirty water to see him. In Kabul, explosions and bursts of gunfire were heard near Kabul and Russia open in Afghan capital and dawn on Thursday and black smoke rose above the facility which is used by civilians and military. A Swedish court has developed with a arrest warrant for Julian Assange was uh, one in for allegations of sexual assault back to 2010. In U.S., a U.S. judge rules against California death penalty as a federal judge ruled California's death penalty unconstitutional Wednesday, but in that lengthy and unpredictable delays have resulted in an arbitrary and unfair capital punishment system. Members of the House Rules Committee discussed the merits in a lawsuit against President Obama and his own executive powers. Huh? Salmon Idaho, U.S. Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl is grateful to have President Barack Obama for the President exchange huh? that freedom for five years as a captive by the Taliban and wishes for privacy concerning family matters as attorney said on. In business news, uh, HCA Holdings Incorporated, the biggest for profit of U.S. hospital chain by patient volume, raised its 2014 earnings forecast that it said within that second quarter earnings that are higher than analyst estimates. Bob Bank said they didn't want to stop United States companies from reincorporating overseas to lower their tax bill, but the Obama administration and Congress are unlikely to take any action to determine such No, you don't. No, you don't. Wow, we've seen a lot of evidence around here this week. You know, Harvey, I wanted to, don't be offended, but we're sick of seeing it. Can't go <laughs> you don't think I'm sick of seeing it? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I'm sick of seeing it? Microsoft Chief Executive Satya Nadella told a Washington audience on Wednesday that the company plans to emphasize the productivity platforms application for email, file sharing, and video communication for instance in an attempt to make Microsoft. In Frankfurt, Germany, Germany's Daimler AG is unveiling a new version of its tiny two-seat smart model in hopes that the car would just grab attention with its unusual design and makes a bigger coverage on the company's profits as well. Apple's partnership with IBM. This is what happened this morning. This is what to tackle the mobile enterprise, it could have less ramifications of both companies as well for rivals Google, Microsoft, and, then we got back to and BlackBerry. Waltham, just terrible flooding, as well as the North Shore. And Ron Howard, to direct Beatles' documentary. Notice if you take into account last night and today into early this evening. Next Saturday will be a big day for the Fan of the Marvel Comic Cinematic Universe. Just like every year, the final film centric Call Lake presentation of San Diego Comic Con 2014 will belong to the folks at Marvel Studios that we expected to be put on a big show. Coming in, Seth MacFarlane is being sued by a California production company for allegedly ripping off the ID for this hit company, Ted for them. And intoxicated Charlie Sheen is lovely to two fans at a Taco Bell drive through And intoxicated Charlie Sheen is lovely to two fans at a Taco Bell drive through Just keeping an eye on one other patch of rain. In science news, ever since the release of the movie Jurassic Park, the developed repertoire has been in tough combination with a time random source break for the most feared and dangerous dinosaur of all time. In Dubai, the United Arab Emirates said Wednesday that its plans to send a man probe to Mars by 2021 into the Arab world's first mission to another planet. In health news, Greg Yorton pacemakers are a step closer to reality after pioneering experts of experiments in pigs and scientists turned heart cells into pacemaker cells by injecting a gene. In New York, cars after the director of the Service for Disease Control. 
came under fire from Congress, was fired for Lex, George, and exposure lab workers to potential lethal samples officials released an update. And new details from the two studies revealed more side effects for NASA and a drug that hundreds of thousand Americans take for cholesterol problems and general heart health. Fear? So tomorrow will be a great day if you're on vacation this weekend. You're frustrated with the Okay, let's take a look at what is going on in the world of stock. Air. A little bit of a sea breeze coming into the afternoon will come back down to the NBC. South. NBC. Beaches really from the North Shore through the South Shore. Metro West, in the elevated areas of Worcester County, Upper Sandy. Danny K, 154935, up 305, up 20%. Shanghai, 5329, down 13, 49 to down 0.65%. NHSI, 23479, 83, the close down 4345, down 0.18%. In the U.S. Stocks now George close 1720 up 7752 up 45 percent. SP 519 137 up 0.42 percent to 8.29 and Nasdaq 4425 97 up 0.22 percent up 9.58. Times, especially Saturday into Sunday. Maybe European markets 939, 27 at that, up 139.86, up 1.44%. FTSE 684.67, up 74.22, up 1.11%. High pressure should keep this low pressure area far enough south. And oil 101.49, up 29 cents. Brent 107.22, up 4.05. And natural gas 4.102, down 0.017. Here. And gold 1302.10, up 2.30. Silver 20.84, up 0.065. And copper 3.2135, down 0.001. But over the course of the weekend, and in the bonds, down for the most part. US 10 year yield 2.5178, down 0.02. Germany 10 year yield 1.195%, down 0.002. And Japan 10 year yield 0.543, down 0.003. And FX European USD 1.3529, up 0.004, up 0.03%. USD dollar Japanese yen 101.32 down 0.15 down 0.15 and Great Britain and USD 1.7139 and up 0.0004 and up 0.02 percent. All right, let's take a look at the Massachusetts State Lottery here. The daily number in the midday game, 9621. And evening numbers, 9905. And the mass, Megabucks, doubler, 1526, 30, 37, 42, and 49. And mass cash numbers, 1411, 27, and 29. All right. Now on to the sports here. The Boston Red Sox. Thousand professionals taking care of you and your family. Offering commerce insurance. In sports. Koji, you are a fat one and is also a debut, and John Wester gave up two runs in the Ailes win here. So the Ailes will get home field advantage here. And Red Sox are so looking for a better second half as built on momentum from the players like Buckle could get Boston back in the contention here. And a couple of winning streak, Boston will be back in the contention here. In the New England Patriots. Find information and advice from experts on a variety of health and wellness topics. Defense line Armand Armstead announces his retirement. The clock is ticking. The is and Tyler Patriots Hall of Fame induction ceremony. The is going fast. All right. Let's take a look at the All Star. And in a Triple A All Star game, it's the United League All Stars defeated in Pacific League All Stars seven and three. And in the NBA. 
are longer and the breeze feels a little sweeter. And thanks to Volvo, I'll pay nothing for repairs or maintenance for five years. Nothing. They even cover my first month's payment. In the NBA, seven league scores. Minnesota after Phoenix, 86 to 77. Shot Nippin Dallas, 82 a one Atlanta over Golden State, 68 to 65. San Andreas for a step in Milwaukee, 171. Miami over Los Angeles Clippers, 96 to 87. Houston over Toronto, 93 to 77. D League All Stars, 63, Denver 56, and Philadelphia 40, LA Clippers 22. Yeah. Yeah. Might make you feel a little bit hungry. Especially if you like them, because they'll make you a lot hungry. Take a look at this giant lobster. They got so big. And in WBA and WNBA highlights, it's New York Liberty over Atlanta Dream, 77 to 75. And Minnesota over Tulsa, 93 to 82. Here. 75 years old. Wow. The New England Aquarium says lobsters. And Lee, 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 live about 60 years. Guinness World Records. Sports stories here. Todd Frazier now, third base for the Cincinnati Reds was at the same field as Star cheated for his final All-Star game on Tuesday. As they met back in 1998, Ian Poulter expressed one final thought before leaving the association of golf brothers, Dinners Royal, Liverpool on Tuesday night, and Las Vegas had a person with knowledge of the situation tells the situation press that the United Pacers have agreed to terms with a free agent guard, Quentin Stecky, on a one-year deal to help pay the uh, department let's see if head of the Charlotte Hornets. And that's going to be it on this Wednesday night, July 16, 2014, with the weather, magician, traffic, sports, news, and stocks. Peak to Wednesday. Have a good night, and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Good night, and good morning here.